Hello folks, this is Michael Irwin with the Voice of Idaho. I'm sit and we're here with Sarah Bucks and Chris Bridles. And what I understood is that they went down to retrieve some other people's property, I think uh, it was La Boys. And uh, I want to thank you for doing that. that. That meant a lot to a lot of people. I talked to one of uh, um, uh, Fennekin's daughters last night and she says, I just want to have a shirt of his and, and to hold on to. And we cried a little bit on the open air. And uh, I got to say that just those little things mean an awful lot. So uh, would you like to tell the folks what happened today and uh, uh, how professional the people may, may or may not have been? Because I know at first, um, you know, uh, Lisa Bundy had a little problem. We put a video out and then the next day they were very, very professional and nice to her. So uh, sir, would you like to open up and tell us what you did today? And sure, I, um, hopefully I can get through it. It's been a, an emotional day. Um, but yes, uh, Jeanette called me and asked us to um, come get LaVoy's stuff. So that's, that's, we went through and got all his belongings. And just out of respect for her, I won't go into too much um, about details of that. But, but yes, the, the head guy up at the refuge who coordinated it, and his name is Jim, he's been he was very, very helpful and very respectful and very nice. Um, and even when Lisa was there, they were helping her gather everything and, and just just really, really helpful. And we really appreciated that. So So what time did you did you all get here, do you think? Today? Yeah. We got up to the refuge at about it was probably about noon. About noon, yeah, mm -hmm. and I come up just a little bit after. So, did you get a phone call, Chris, or to to help or assist, or how did you get up here? Well, I had heard that they were coming, and I thought I would come out to show support and do whatever I could to help. If if there was something that I could do, I would like to be able to help. Somewhere, somewhere, there's a white horse with shiny armor because you continue to amaze me, Chris. Thank you. I know you're a humble man, but I, I only do what I feel that I should do. Yeah. Well, I, a lot of people really appreciate it. I know I do. Uh, he is. He is amazing. <laughs> Probably the biggest heart, other than Lavoy and Ammon. Pretty oh. a big, big heart. One of just a very humble, very, and I just met him a couple days ago, but he has, he's pretty amazing. Well, Chris, is, Chris has been a firefighter for how many years, Chris? Oh, 30 plus. 30 plus years. So, you know, firefighters, they put their lives on the line all the time, and, and, they, and they don't ever get the recognition that they should do get, but the reason is is because they don't want the recognition. That's not why you do what you need to do. You do what you do because it's the thing to do, because it's right. Well, I think if, and if, if you're out there trying to do things so you can get a pat on the back, you need to go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of officers tend to do without working through the works. I think God asks us to judge a person by their works and where your heart's at. And uh, I think that the there's a lot of positive things to, that is coming out of this and that maybe Ammon had it right that uh, he had a mission maybe he didn't understand but that mission was to actually bring people together expose how the, the evil in the government operates so that we can on the next path maybe stop a war before it happens and get our nation back in a peaceful way and, and I think that that is something that's come out vastly positive and they didn't get the war that they wanted, that we think that they wanted. And uh, now we have to carry on this message and, uh, and, and, and educate others. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because I have been so impressed. I have met people from all over, all different states, and, and I hope someday I get to meet all of them. But so many people all over like you said this has brought so many people together and i've been so impressed and so amazed at, at how many people do have good hearts there's good people that still exist out there and, and just want to help and help complete strangers 
it's amazing how many people have reached out and offered help in, in many different ways. Well, I think so. even with the officers that you met today, it's like they changed the crew that was there the first day, which was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. And always remember, folks, that there are a lot of good people that work in the machine, and we're not up against them. We're asking them to do their jobs. Isn't that, that's about all we're asking, isn't it? Yeah. Harmful intent to another is a measure of a crime, and it's time for them to step off the fence and do the right thing. Yeah. Time to choose a side. Definitely. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add to uh, uh, maybe something? I don't know if there's anything else that people is there or other people's property there or. Um, um, there is other property still there. They they did say that there's there has been several people that have come by to pick up their vehicles or property, but there is still quite a bit there. Um, I think there's I've heard of a few people that are that will be there Monday, and um, they want everything gone by Monday at noon. So that will be at the noon. Last. They're not going to give them a full day. Now that's that's they they gave the prosecuting attorneys how many weeks to go through everything. Yeah. Um, maybe I, some... I didn't ask them the time today, but when I was there Friday, I asked them what time on Monday. Some other people were asking questions, and I was told noon. Did they say? At noon. Did they say what they were going to do with the property at afternoon or? They did. They said the cars would be impounded and the rest of the items, the clothes, everything left there would probably be boxed up and eventually be thrown away. Wow. Maybe maybe we can ask. The good people in the machine to give the folks at least another couple of days. I think that's the most respectful thing. Maybe we can do something about that. And I think the reason for Monday at noon, there is a group of people they said that volunteered to come in and clean, and and they already have them scheduled, and so they that's that's that where what, the time frame came oh, from. Oh, okay. Well, I wonder who those people are. I don't think it's any of us. I, we, we volunteer to clean up and maybe help people get their stuff. If they're going to throw it in the trash, maybe we can make sure that they get their belongings back. Yeah. Um, well, is there any final things that you'd like to say? Me? Yeah. Or The only thing I can say is that hopefully through all of this, there's going to be positive come out of it. It would be a horrendous waste if some positive things didn't come out of this. Like she said, there's been a lot of people that have formed friendships and shown love towards each other instead of hatred. I think that's very important. I think that people need to learn from these things. You know, it, it's sad that this got to the condition that it's in, and we the people are the ones that allowed it. And we, we need to be paying attention to what's going on Learn your constitution, understand it, stand up for it. If it's right, stand up for it. If it's wrong, don't mess with it. Keep learning. Always, always, always keep learning. You know, there's a saying that I would say, you know, we're all greenhorns. We're trying to learn how to make it through this life. Well, as long as you're green, you grow. Once you're ripe, you rot. So constantly, constantly, constantly search for information and, and, and get the true information before you make up your mind about things. Don't just read something on Facebook or on the internet and decide that that's the gospel. Pay attention. Use your own mind to make up your own mind, not someone else's. Well, I think I, that's pretty important. I, I, no wiser words were spoken. I want to thank you both for uh, helping in any way you can, and I know that the entire United States is thankful too, so thank you so much. All right. This is Michael Inger with the Voice of Idaho, and God be with you all. And even if you don't believe in God, there is such a thing as right and wrong, and I think that that should be what we should strive to achieve for. So, as I said, uh, light of love and light of truth be with you all. Bye-bye. Thank you.